During the Renaissance in Europe, as artists and intellectuals were exploring bold new forms of expression, Africans and their descendants were captured, enslaved, and traded from the old to the new world. But often forgotten is that a population of African people lived in Europe as well. Many were brought as servants or slaves, but some were free, as slavery was not a lifetime sentence. Some were even travelers themselves. Importantly, a few were recorded by the best artists of the period, their faces and expressions preserved in paint and stone. In the Princeton University Art Museum, a collection of these works is being presented together. We are uh, throwing light on a uh, small population in Renaissance Europe, people of African ancestry, uh, and uh, really highlighting the extraordinary range of their contributions to society at that time. The Renaissance was an era of change, with movement to and from the European continent aided by better sea routes and faster ships. But this exchange went both ways. Ethiopian scholars and pilgrims arrived in Rome in the late 1400s, and in 1484, a royal Congolese embassy came to Lisbon. Uh, but what we uh, discover is that many of them also came as scholars, as visitors, as merchants, uh, and as diplomats. Begun at the Walters Museum of Art in Baltimore, revealing the African presence in Renaissance Europe showcases works that examine this diversity. The fact that, uh, that famous artists such as Veronese or, or Bronzino or, or Rubens, you know, for example, uh, would uh, choose to depict these uh, uh, subjects lends dignity to the subject. This is an important subject.